Hello everybody! Welcome to Agashi Review, where I review movies, dramas that you don't want to waste your time watching. I'll give you a synopsis, short review, along with my thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Now let's go into the review. Hello everybody, Agashi here today. So today I'm doing a K-drama review. And you guys know which drama I'm reviewing. It's King the Land with Juno and Yuma. So I'm um, so excited for this drama, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, okay, you know, there's a lot going on. So kind of have to wait and see how it turns out. So I was able to watch the first two episodes. It is on Netflix, no sponsor or promotion to Netflix. Just a crazy fan of Juno. As you guys can tell, I'm actually obsessed with Juno and q -Wong. So I like, I watched it because of him. Um, this drama airs on Saturday and Sunday and it has a total of 16 episodes. And like I said, like it already came out to probably like four episodes at this point. I just, I was just able to watch the first two episodes. So much drama has came out, but uh, I was able to catch this one and got a glimpse of it. I like it. And like I said, there's just so much going on. So I actually kind of wanted to let it sit. So um, I'm gonna go over the cast synopsis in the first two episodes with you guys. So as for our cast, we have Lee Juno as Gu Wang and then Im Yuna as Cho Sarang, uh, Gu Wang Hee as Oh Pyong, Pyong Hwang and then Kim Kang Eun as uh, Kang Da Eul, uh, An Se Hang as No Sang Sik, uh, Kim Ji Wang as Lee Ro Wang and Kim Sung Kim Sung Young as uh, Gu Hwang Rang and Song Pyong Hwang as Gu Lee Hun and. Tons of other people, there's like a lot of shareholders, bar, hotel people, all these things like that. But as for our, our synopsis, the heir Gu Wong cannot stand fake smiles. When he meets Cho Sarang with her sincere smile is always at ready. This, um, this pair seek to create happy moments when they can smile brightly together and anything they try to conquer together. The king, uh, the king of the land is a VIP, VVIP business lounge hotel, kind of like wealthy hotel place. It is owned by the king group with, um, who owns like hotel, distribution company, airline, all sorts of that. Really rich top of the line. Now, Go Wong has been thrown into kind of like an inherited tug of war with his older sister and or half sister and with his brilliant young mind and captivating charm but he's he he can do everything but he lacks the common sense when it comes to love and it comes to socializing and everything well while Cho Sarang makes the world brighter with just her smile she lands this job at King Hotel where she has like she's always wanted and dreamed to become a t hoteler or working at a hotel ever since she was a kid now she must put those sweet memories away mature to her workplace and basically make her way around because she's basically this is her dream and she's kind of like a nobody too. So recap on the first two episodes the drama starts us off in 2015 where Cho Sarang is going for an interview at the King Hotel. It's not the, it's King Hotel only. <laughs> she doesn't have a bachelor degrees, university degree or anything, but she plays like, she only went to like an AA school, you know, here in the US, that's what we call it. And she plays the piano and when she goes, one of her heels is broken, but she's still a B. She puts up a big toothy smile and caught the director, caught the attention of the director of King Hotel. After the interview, she's in miserable. She ends up clubbing with her friends. The next morning she gets a call, she got the internship. So this is just an internship where it's like three to six months only something like that and then next we get introduced to Gu, uh, Gu Wang who is its first day of work and he's an intern and but he like is the owner or son of the of King Hotel he parachutes off a helicopter onto the workplace because he, he's running late with his identity a secret he's been living in the UK the whole time people don't, don't really know that he's the son of or he's the son of King Hotel and stuff like that well his manager puts him down for like you know what are you trying to act like a chibble you're dressing really rich and like he has a co-worker no no sang she is like trying to coach him saying that like you know I haven't been doing really well in my internship because I've been working with you and it's been failing or whatever like that so like please you know please do a really good job because you and I are a partner in this and they don't nobody knows who he is yet well he he's given a task to go make copies papers and he doesn't know how to use a copier 
uh, Sunshine ends up helping him and they end up making the toner explode. Their supervisor is furious with them and Guang refuses to apologize and gets fired immediately on the spot. He simply just calls the chairman secretary and to get the cleaner and a new copier. And that's when they realize, oh, he's the chairman's son, you know? So he ends up taking Sunshine with him and he said that I'll provide you a permanent full-time job and you're like, you know, secure for life. Well, with his father being furious about him sending him back to UK to start from the bottom up again, and his older sister is very happy. His older sister, Gu, Gu Harang, was one of the panel ladies that interviewed Sarang and hired her. We can see they have like tension between siblings, and obviously they don't share the same mother, but they share the same father, you know? Harang, um, Har, Harang is the director of King Hotel, and she does fear Gun Wang that he will take over one day and all her hard work will go to waste, basically. You could see her, I'm sorry, ass kissing the whole first two episodes to the dad and and always trying to like send Guong away. Well, Guong and like he ends up meeting Sarang, they accidentally meet when she's like a trainee in the gym. She mistaken him for a pervert, having no idea who he is whatsoever. They kind of just leave it off there. He leaves to the UK and he takes Sakshik with him. Time flies and we see that like um, Sarang gets promoted. She's doing well at the hotel. Guong is living alone, miserable in the UK. He studied wills and everything like that. Eight years later, he's graduated. He receives a package, very mysterious package, and decides to leave immediately for Korea. During his time in UK, he has sex with him the whole time, which is his only friend. Well, they return back and now Guang is the head manager of the hotel and he hates that people puts on fake smile and he's about to eliminate that. Um, that from like, as like a rule to all the workers, employee. So um, he's now, he we see that he has a trauma and he's trying to find out his mother. He makes a statement like that he doesn't know who his mother is and all he knows is or has is like a broken uh, pocket watch which he always wears that clips onto his suit. So now we're kind of like, okay, yeah, we get it. He's back trying to look the truth about his mother and what's going on and what did happen. And from the looks of it, his mother was like an employee of the hotel but there's like no records of it whatsoever. So it's like this woman he's looking for. So uh, Gu Wu and Sarang accidentally meet again when she has to go get the head manager's phone from his hotel room. She had a stomach ache, decided to use his ratio. That's when she, um, and then she was playing with the remote control for the glass wall and she ends up showing herself using the restroom to him, calling him a, a pervert again and ta-da! She has to welcome him as head manager. So they are now co-worker and he tells her to apologize because he's not a pervert that she's referring to and he starts to question her, why would I even do that? Do you even see me that as that type of person or you're just judging because we have the same shirt because it was the guy who had like a tiger shirt that gave her um, his hotel car said, I'll meet you tonight or whatever like that. And she mistook it as Guang. When she, she, she realized like, oh shit, like she didn't even look at the person's face or she didn't recognize him. She just went off of what she saw. So, so everybody could take, but technically wearing the same thing and she won't know. She probably got the wrong person. Anyway, she apologizes and it goes on. Um, now it's like a battle between Guang and his sister and she lets him work but he has to follow the rule. He agrees to it. She obviously she's still really really fair that he will like take over everything but he assures her he doesn't want the hotel. So he has different intentions but she still doesn't believe him. So he, um, Guang starts to see Sarang work and he's like really annoyed with her constantly always apolog apologizing to rude guests. He scold like the managers for not doing their job and always leaving like their lower employees to do it. He calls like, you know, Sarang always yelling her and she's like, you know, it's because of staff of you guys or like head people like you guys making these rules. That's why we had to follow it. So he's like, you know, I'm going to make changes to this. And well, like his dad said, he is the face to King Hotel or King Group. He has to do really well. He has an interview coming up and Sarang is the one who's going to interview him and they have to work together on certain things and they head over to Jeju for this project and this is where he uh, he starts to kind of like like her and everything but you know during this project his sister obviously has different plans for it and she's out there to basically ruin it for him. So the end of the uh, the two uh, the second episode ends us at uh, the interview part and throughout the drama we get to seeing 
um, like back to where he was looking for whoever he was looking for, whether it's his mom or whatever. It's go it goes by the name of director Hang Hang Mi So, and like you know, it's like he's been trying to find this person, but there's like no record of their hotel of this person ever working for them. Um, he looked at resumes and all these past like that and it looks like it's been re like erased from history, you know? So basically, you could tell he was raised up in the hotel with all these people constantly serving and smiling at him and he hates it because it's all fake, you know? But yeah, I'm like enjoying his acting. Go, Go Long is totally made for him. Like, Juno can p totally pull off the I don't care leave me alone look and man like his suits are so gorgeous on him a he has a very nice handsome wardrobe on him and i'm so interested in finding out his path and him defeating his sister honestly we know that he's not gonna care but because of his not caring and doing like what he's gonna do he's gonna be get the best out of it and he's gonna do really good and i do obviously we know have a feeling that she is gonna lose everything and like not because she's going to lose him. She's too worried and she's too focused on Guang that she's going to end up lose her focus and she's going to lose everything. Versus him, he's just not going to care. And doing so, he's just going to win over everything. But um, I'm not really sold on Sarang's character. Like, Yuna... Her character, I've seen like Yuna herself, like, I've seen her in variety shows. I've seen her in partial dramas here and there, you know? And like... I'm kind of like go on like her smile is annoying but that's like her character you know so she's pulling that off really well and she does do her character does some stuff that is a bit frustrating and she doesn't express it well compared to like her friend Prong Huang where like you see how in the airplane with her dumb co-worker who threw away one of the passengers coat she took the fall for it but she addressed it really well like she's you see her struggle you see her exhaustion um everything like that I feel like Sarang like she doesn't care and she's gonna keep smiling which is kind of like a bothersome to me and it's but like you know it's only the first two episodes we still have a lot to go and it's like her character is slowly building up obviously you know she wants the job and everything she's not pulling out her character fully to everybody besides you know I have to smile and she's just hiding everything behind that smile so it's like it's really like what Gohan said you're like faking it out and so he does make a good good point on there but I'm not so fully sold on her yet but I'm really sold on him I'm already it's not just because it's Juno he plays the character so well that like you totally like it's not even Juno anymore to me. It's more like Go Wang. You actually see his character. You actually see him being spoiled. You actually see him being like just who he is, you know? So that's that. But um, like, you know, I do look forward to how it's going to turn out. Juno did amazing in the red sleeve, like as his comeback drama and for this one too. And it's modern and he gets to wear all these amazing suits and everything. I'm looking forward to it and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I am actually going to let it sit because, you know, I feel like it's too soon. You could kind of tell from um, the first two episodes and sneak peeks and everything. Like they're kind of like he's already starting to like her. You know, he's starting to already feel that spark. So I feel like it's a little bit too soon for that. But at the same time, you really think about it. The whole point of it, it's like I take it. It's a romantic comedy drama, but I take it he's more seeking his his past and everything that he's looking for. So the whole romance thing, I'm pretty sure it's gonna pick up later on. But right now, it's like the introduction to it all. And they're not really wasting their time on like, oh, you know, by the time it hits episode 6 or episode 7, that's when he's going to start falling in love with her. It's already happening constantly, instant, instantaneously. So that's what it is. But, but yeah, that is the... Um, the recap of King the Land. Check it out if you guys have not. Um, I like it. I want to let it sit a little bit more before I do watch it. And um, we'll see how it turns out. But if you guys do want to know the ending of it or you know anything, let me know in the comments below. Once this drama ends, I will, if you guys want to, I'll do another ending review and you guys give you guys my thoughts of all the, the characters overall and how did the, the drama unfold and everything. But that's it for today's drama review and I'll see you guys next time.